Hey guys, what if here, and welcome back to NASCAR Heat 4 Crew World Part Number 50. A pretty uh, tumultuous milestone in this series. Um, even though when I got to this point last year, by the end of December, I was like at Part 98. <laughs> so uh, yeah, past me was on it, but um, I, I like the pace I'm going this year. I'm, I'll probably do more once uh, 05 is wrapped up, and then I just have this to kind of play, as well as Wreckfest. So I guess, I mean, it's a good change, I don't know. But the point is... Part 50, uh, we got Indy and Vegas, and then we'll go into the, uh, you know, chase, playoffs, whatever. <laughs> so we're going into this, obviously we don't actually have the top tier best stuff we could possibly get because we're kind of using, reusing the same stuff we did from uh, last race, so it's not going to be 90 and 85 and 85, I think it actually it's like 87, 85 and 85, something like that. So settings, everything's back to what it usually is, so yeah. That's what we're going with. So, um, because we're going to probably reuse this again, our Speedway engine is probably going to even be worse than what it was before. So, uh, that, that's concerning. So, uh, I don't know what to expect. It's a power track, draft track, so I don't know what will happen, but we're going to try. Okay, 86 for the suspension, because we got that now. So, okay, let's, let's get in everything and hopefully we start okay. So our goal time is a 52.8, like usual, we're probably not going to get that, and that's a 53, almost 54, almost a second off the goal, 20th, that's actually better than what I was expecting. So, I guess another fun fact is that um, going into this race, we have like six consecutive top 10 finishes, I, I, I'm shocked too, but Jeremy Clutz, <laughs> that's almost as bizarre as freaking Gray Black, what, <laughs> what is this, Kid Clemens, Clemens, I don't, well, I don't know where he is in points, so I don't know. But yeah, um, that, that's weird. And we're nineteenth. Actually, that's pretty good. We're on the inside line. So yeah, I don't know if we can even pull a top ten out. I just don't know. But Jeremy Clemens having a stellar weekend. The car is fast. Okay, and Cole Custer had an engine change, so that's why we gave this spot. Well, um, I guess we'll see what we can do. So starting 20th, actually, or 19th, isn't all too bad. Usually, we're always kind of like a mid-20s, so... I don't know if that momentum boost is, is helping us or what. It, I guess it is, because usually we're not up this far in the, the race, so... I don't know. But I'm kind of at a weird point now, because... I definitely want to put more stuff towards the car to get everything to 90, like the uh, arrow. But at the same time, I, need, I definitely need another chassis for just speedways, just because there's so many of them throughout the season. And a lot of them are back-to-back -back as well. There's more back-to-back -back speedways than there are, like, short tracks and road courses. So, like, that's a definitely, like, the next thing I, def I should put my money towards. But at the same time, I don't know. I don't know. But this is honestly a pretty damn good start. I mean, what, gain four spots? Okay, three. That's still low in my book. I mean, I'm, I'm still content with that. This car's not shit. There goes Algar on the outside of me. Looks like he's fast. I mean, good God, I just got left behind. Okay. So how do you lose a spot 101? Well, definitely going into turn three like that just terribly and losing all of your momentum and angle, yeah, that's one way to lose it. And that's what I did there for Justin Haley to get by me. What is wrong with me? Like, I just forgot how to turn in turn one. That's not how you, like, the outside line does not work here. I don't know what I'm thinking. What am I doing? I, there goes the stage, yep. What the fuck was that? What is wrong with me? Oh my god, I don't even have an excuse. I blame my I blame my cold. I'm just feeling like shit. Despite repairing damage for about a second, I actually gained a spot, so that's cool. I don't know what I, I don't know what the hell that was. That was just it's oh in this always that track that just for whatever reason I do stupid shit at, and I don't know why. And that's a long stage. That's almost an entire fuel run. Oh my. Well. This will be kind of interesting to see how this plays out. And holy stack up. Oh, sure, I'll take these, these spots. I just need to, if I could just go into the corner like I, you know, should, like, that wouldn't have been a problem. But of course, it, you know, it just has to. Like, things just can't go right. And I guess Brandon Joe's going to get by me. So, all right. 
I just want to settle in. I just want to relax. Never mind, we'll get the spot on him. I, all right, that's kind of cool. All guyer. Yep, I know you're fast. Just pass me on the outside and everything will be good. Like, that's all you gotta do. You don't have to try to poke it in there every waking moment. There goes Algar. He finally got around me on the outside, so good for him. And... Man, we just don't have speed. I don't know, I just... It's not too bad in the draft, but... It's just... It just doesn't have the handling. I don't know, it's just... It's just not ideal. Alright, well, we're sucking. I just... I just don't have that that car. I, God almighty, just it's frustrating. Ooh. Well, a couple people are pitting, but actually a lot are. So I mean, we're gonna stay out, try to get some stage. Well, does it really? I mean, we'll we'll just stay out. We'll pit anyway. I, I'm sure all these people are gonna pit as well. So try to get some extra spots. So yeah, five spots. I'm not sure who's leading the race now, but. I don't know, I have no idea if that's a, like a bad strategy call or not for them. But at the very least, we'll be able to make it on fuel now, so we don't have to worry about that. And that's Briscoe leading, which is nothing new for him, so that's, that's cute. And can't really get to the bottom. Oh, wait a minute. Oh yeah, barely. Don't, don't wreck on the apron. Like, that was such a good start and a cool move I did, and then I'm going to try to immediately throw it away. Like, don't, don't do that. To the inside of Chastain for 14th to end stage two. Uh, I mean, this run's gotten a lot better. I'm guessing maybe I'm just getting used to the track, but for sure I'm gonna definitely make this thing a bit tighter. It's very loose. I have it on eight. I think I'm having like the mindset of like playing E3 still. The that, that slider for this track. Yeah, it's just a little bit too on edge, so I'll probably change that. But if we do play our cards right, and if we get the handling a little bit better. A top 10 may be possible. I don't, it may be close, but we're almost there. I just need that momentum boosting because I know we're going to need that Vegas because that track is going to be really hard. So um, I'd like to have that. So we're going to bump that up about half a round up, and that should be it. And hopefully, okay, we got... This stage 3 might be 9 laps as well, so it might come down to fuel. I, I don't know. Oh, oh, we gained a spot. We're on the inside line now. Hooray! This, this race has given me a lot of niceness. And Cole Custer, who started last, is like 18th now, so a hell of a run for him. But because of that caution, I kind of threw everything out out of the loop, because now nobody's really... The fast cars are not really up at the front anymore. That's, that top three are way in the back, which I guess helps me out. And that was almost three wide for the second. That was a hell of a start. If we did have like a green-white checker, we'd probably get a top ten out of it, just based on how well we do on the starts. Now that we tighten this up just a little bit, it should be, you know, a lot better. I don't know. We may have a chance to keep that momentum boost thing alive, because I think it's a top 10. Still. I believe. I know if you're, like, in, like, different, like, three or four or five stars, I think the position to get that momentum is different. But I think when you're, you know, like, even owning a team, I think it's a, I think it's always a top 10. To my knowledge, that is. Well, I didn't hold the bottom. And I just lost 11th to uh, Ray Black. Weird for me to say, but it did happen. There goes Christopher Bell on the outside. I was holding on, on 12th for a little bit there, but yeah, he, he's really quick. As well as Christopher Bell, uh, or Cole Custer there. Okay, all right, well, all right. I deserve it. Clemens has caught me. We are saving a little bit of fuel per lap. I just don't know if it's enough because we're still about a lap short. So I, I, I really don't know. But if I have to, I can Carl Edwards this shit and maybe make it last. Worth a shot. And there he goes. Well, Clemens is fast this week, so that's understandable. I'm trying to stay in the draft, too, to save a little bit of fuel. I don't know. It's going to be... I just... I don't know. I, it just might be too close to, to try to cheese it. It's like I'm giving away free spots, but these cars are so much faster than me. I, like, I don't even have a chance. I don't know. It just sucks. All right, it's time to go in fuel conservation mode. So I'm gonna start just letting up. I'm gonna try to stay around like 160 and just hope. It's the only thing I can try, so it's worth a shot. So I'm gonna try to stay in like 150 and then like fall like 140 and then gas it, 150, then let up. I don't know, that's just what I'm trying to do. It, it may work, I don't know, it's worth, I'm just gonna try. All right, I just went down to one. I just don't think I can stretch it. It might be just too much. 
Maybe if I did it a little bit sooner. This is gonna come down to the wire. This is the, the, the dumbest way to try to win a race. And Tyler Reddick's right there. Like, should I just try to go for it now, or? Oh, I don't know. I want to win, though. <laughs> I, got I tried. Oh, I'm going to run out of fuel. I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to coast. I'm going to try push it. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm going to screw, screw myself. Well, I was running, like, 14th, so. Maybe I'm going to coast. <laughs> that almost worked. That almost worked. If I was just a little bit quicker, and I, maybe I saved a little bit better... Probably could have uh, tried to pull something out. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. It's sputtering. Ah, shit. Well, it lasted for quite a while. All right. Um, I just need a top ten. I just need a top ten. <laughs> what is this? I'm just. I'm giving you the inside line. Top ten. <laughs> Wow, that if I saved like one more lap sooner, I probably could have made that. Holy crap, that <laughs> that's still better than where I was gonna finish. So that's that's still a win for me. Well, we keep our momentum streak alive. That was weird how that all played out. BJ McLeod got third, and Tyler Reddick got two wins in a row. Well, holy crap. Um, well, I'll take it. That's still good money too. I think it's over a hundred thousand. I I will gladly take that. 123,000. All right. And we're 11th in points. And uh, I think Reddick's like 100% confirmed, I think, to be in. Unless Michael Annette somehow wins and that bumps like Jeffrey Earnhardt out. That's like the only, I guess, option right now. So uh, there's that. So uh, on to Vegas. That puts us at 189,000. So almost a halfway to what we need. I'm hoping the race wear and tear isn't too bad and we get around like a 78. Modern driving, 74. Oh my god, we're gonna go into like the next race at an 85. Oh, there's just too many speedways back to back. And Noah Gregson has something to say again. Hey, you've been impressive those last few races. Keep it up. Who edits these? Like, that was. Oh, that was Clay Greenfield levels of bad. Uh, insult. I gotta. Thank you, Tommy Joe. Uh, another perfect race. Oh, thank you, BJ McLeod. Uh, I ran a perfect... No, we're not going grilling in long games. No. Uh, thank you, Chad Fincham. Uh, fuck you, racist. Uh, Josh Williams again? No, no, I'm... Too There's, like, so many drivers with, like, with the, the yellow numbers. I'm getting confused. Uh, thank you. Uh, no, we're not going pool party. Uh, yes, I, I accidentally hit you. That's my fault. Uh, Cole Oh, uh, uh, yeah, I think I hit him. Okay, I apologize. Uh, no, no, no. I like how I could just, good, good, really briscoe, that's all you got is just good race. That's sad. No, we're not going fishing. Holy shit. When are they going to get the hand? Oh, we got their, our incentive contract. So, that should be a guaranteed 31,000 next race as well, I think, how this game works. So, that's, that's good. Oh man, we're gonna go into we're gonna suck at Vegas. There's like no way around it. We just don't have the stuff, and we keep reusing the same thing, so it's gonna get worse. Oh god, at least we got Richmond, which is the short track. But we're, I know we're gonna suck though, so it's like it's not even gonna matter because even if you're an eSport World Challenge driver, you're still not gonna run well there. So we do have 220. That's weird. How come it has 220? On the uh, the upgrade department like thing there, but not on the the top right of the screen. That's really odd. I don't know why it's like that. I guess it's factoring in next race's pay. I guess I don't know. That's weird because can you imagine if it gets to some point in the career mode where it's like you're short like some amount and that you like depend on it, and then on this screen you're good, but then the other one you're not. I don't know. I don't know, just something to note, I guess. But once we get the arrow to 90, then we can start adding, like, a different chassis and then start improving the employees so we can get them to but pretty much a max 12. Because we got them at 11 for the most part. We have a couple, like, ones at 10, ones at 11. We need to up him, and yeah. So we're almost there to getting, I don't know, good stuff. It's just gonna, it's gonna take a whole other season to even get close. And I don't even know if I'm gonna, I don't know. But let's get into Vegas and suck some ass. 
Well, it's not going to be our goal time by any means, and that's about a second off that. Oh my. Oh my god, 27. Well, this may be a throwaway race. I, I'm assuming so. We're going to probably run like 30th. Uh, who got the pole? Austin Sindrick, okay. I'm on a 7 slider. I don't know why I paused there. Usually I don't, but uh, I just know it's going to be a waste of time. I don't know what is with Vegas. I guess I could have probably put their, their wear to more, but for the AI, but I just didn't want to do it because I wanted to kind of not stop doing that, but I'm at 85 everything. It's just, I don't know. At least I had a good run. I, I mean, at least I had like 7 top 10s in a row, which is pretty damn incredible for this car, so. It was just bound to end eventually, and Vegas is going to be the track to ruin my hopes and dreams. Um, post editor, what if you can speed that, like, section up? Because, holy crap, I did stuff. I really was not expecting to even be in 20 seconds, so... This is already a win in my books. Like, I was really expecting to run, like, in the 30s. But, I was certainly mistaken. So that, that speed boost uh, in this game, definitely, you could definitely notice that difference. I just didn't know if it would be enough. But I, I guess it did. I guess it did enough to, to make a difference. Never mind. Because Vinnie Miller, Miller just drove right by me, as well as Bill Wicky, So, uh, I don't know. Never mind, I guess. We got three cars behind me. Uh, I don't know why on earth all guys back here, unless he just didn't qualify well or got sent to the back. I almost wrecked him because I clipped him a little bit there. So we're kind of dropping back. I don't know. Just... That's a thing. I don't know. So they have their tire like, wear rate like on normal for them, even though it's like times four. But if I had theirs on like more effect, then their fall off is like really extreme. And here, like, I don't know. It's just can't find that like great medium balance like I should be like I should have been like me like mellowed out right around like 23rd or something but now it just feels like I'm getting worse when they're just getting better and I have like my wear and like the best fall off potential rate possible so I don't know just some tracks are better than others with that it's just I don't know and then again we're not really into this with like a great rating so I don't know what I'm expecting honestly good well, that was just kind of a, a waste of a stage. Now, I'll see, because Michael Annette needs to win, and he's in third. Oh, he's going to be on the inside line next restart, hopefully. He has a chance. Jeffrey Earhart is second. Oh, my God. John Hunter, too. I think he won here in the spring uh, in this game. So, uh, oh, we'll pit here. I think this stage should be pretty much the same as the, the first. We'll probably get around, like, 23rd, somewhere around there, and then fall back to, like, 26th. Maybe 25th, because we're starting a little bit better. I don't know, but... This should be kind of the same. Oh, I guess Jeff Earnhardt got the pole, or I guess uh, beat uh, whoever out of pit road. So that's interesting. And Michael Annette is going for the lead, I think. Oh no, he's second. Okay. Michael Annette could just freaking clutch his way into the chase. That's going to be insane. Because Tyler Reddick kind of did that before, so I don't know. It, 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 it's I'm more interested in the nap than my own race at this point. Holy shit, Michael Annette just took the lead. <laughs> oh my god, that is actually incredible. Kamikaze is losing his mind right now. Please let it work for him. Just for him. I just want Michael Annette to be in the chase for Kamikaze's sake. I guess somebody's blown up or something. What is this? Well, last lap in the stage. Oh my god, we're just going to arca break it. Mm. Oh, don't wreck, don't wreck, don't wreck. Okay, we did actually, wow. I actually gained a couple spots from that. And I lost it all. I lost all the spots I gained pretty much. That What is going on behind me? I guess it's all good, but that was really, really odd. Well, we pretty much finished where we did last stage. I actually was running much worse. So Mike Harmel and John Jackson were catching me. That's how bad I was. Like This, this is a definition of a throwaway race at this point. And Michael Annette just won the stage. He could win this damn race. I guess that's all we really have to look forward to, is if that can happen, so... I don't know. I just want to get this over with now. I just want to see what happens. I just want to see who wins. It looks like during the pit cycle, Tyler Reddick got the lead. I think. Yes, he did. And Annette got... I don't know. He, he had a bad stop. I think he was, like, fifth. Well, shit. 
Tyler Reddick is now going to try to win three races in a row after going winless, like, the whole season. Oh my god, what, what a comeback for freaking Tyler Reddick. Good god. Oh, never mind. John Hunter Nemechek's leading. Good for him. I think that's Michael Annette, like, in the top. He's, like, 10th? Uh, he's pretty far back. I don't know what happened, but his pit crew just completely threw the race away for him. Ooh. Well, everybody still can't make it on fuel, so it's just still not in our best interest to pit. Then again, I'm so far back, what do I honestly have to lose? Um, so I don't know. Uh, where is Michael? He's, okay, he's 8th. Oh, he's on the outside, though. Oh, what? Oh, man, he's not gonna make it. Ugh, that sucks. I, I didn't pit. Neither did anybody else, so... I don't know. It's just, even if I pitted there, I still would have been like five, six laps short, so... Yeah, I guess good call on the AI for that, but... Now we'll just kind of let this play out, and hopefully, you know, we'll pin the next, I guess, eight laps or seven. And go from there. Well, if it does come down to, a, like, a green-white checkered of some sort, you could probably BS some extra spots, because it always seems like we do really well on the starts just able to kind of take advantage of them checking up a little bit. I don't know what Chad Fincham did in that corner, but that was the worst racecraft I've ever seen. That was that was like me like 13 years old playing NASCAR 9 online, not holding a line and just just being terrible. Like that was like that level of bad Chad Fincham. Like that that was you got some explaining to do. And Tyler Reddick just took the lead. He's trying to win three in a row. Oh my god. Okay, John Hunter just took the lead back, so that's cool. And we're not dropping like a rock as bad as I thought, so maybe on the, I guess, on the extreme late run in the car, maybe we're not as bad. So maybe that normal is not so unbalanced like I originally thought. I don't know, but we're not losing to freaking Mike Harmon and John Jackson barely, so that's already a big step in the right direction for our car. Looks like we already have people down Piro that look like Cole Custer. Reddick took the lead back, so I guess next lap will pit. I think we'll be able to make it on fuel, and it'll be close. And especially tires, too. I think it'll be all good, though. Okay, I just went down to one, so yeah, I will, I will be pinning this lap. So, four tires and fuel, everybody should be doing the same thing, just because we're kind of going on an entire fuel run here as well. And I don't know what the speed is, 45. Perfect. That was great. All right. Well, four tires and fuel. We'll be out in the way, and hopefully we, um, I don't know, not run like 28th. <laughs> oh, my God. We just got a stack of brigade. Well, ne okay. Never mind. 15.2. We're out in the way. I don't even, I, I think we lost spots on that pit stop. 20, are we 30th? Or we're 30th right now. Well, well, that's interesting. Maybe we can, uh, you know, get back on track and maybe have a good outlap speed. I don't know. It's worth trying. And... No, not really. Okay. Well, now I know. <laughs> we got these cars leaving pit road, so that will be a couple of extra spots, so we're not going to be running 30th. That is 27th, maybe 26th or 25th when I get by these two cars. Oh my god, it's Mike Harmon. Are we really going to be racing Mike Harmon in this race? <laughs> we go from like, what, seven top tens in a row to running with Mike Harmon the next race. That, you hate to see it. Uh -oh. I'm done. Shout out to Tommy Joe Martins for staying out so long. I don't know how he's doing it or, or what, but <laughs> what, a, what a run for him. He's, try he's, he's giving it his all, and Josh Williams is probably going to drive by next, so we'll just let him go. we got to, you know, save the, the best event for last with the, the greatest battle of all time between me and Mike Harmon. There goes Tommy Joe down pit road. Well, I guess it was a valiant effort or a valiant attempt because if the caution came out when he was leading like that, could have pinned a lot of people a lap down and probably could have BS to win, or at the very least stacked up the field, so. At least this will be a free spot, I hope. Keywords, I hope. I was right. We're actually going to get this spot on Tommy, and yay, we'll get 26th instead of 27th. Well, I'll be damned. 
I'm low-key kind of hoping now for a caution because I don't think they're going to pit. And I'm going to definitely try to pit and maybe try to get some extra spots if I can. I don't know if that will really work, but it's worth a shot because we're just so far back. So, I don't know. That's my plan, but I don't know. It, the game usually does, it's not, it's not, uh, it's not as scripted. So, I don't know. Like, Andy went green. Watkins Glen in mid-Ohio and etc. went green. So, I don't know. It, pro it may or may not happen. And that, I like that. I like that I don't know the script. Never mind. Reddick just hit the white flag, so. There goes that, there goes that dream. Well, the good thing is I pulled away from Mike Harmon a little bit, so. That's good. I gained, like, another three tenths on him, roughly. Wow. Holy frame rate drop galore. That was, like, heat three levels of bad. Uh, that's sad. That was a really ugly race. I don't even know what to say. That was just... Oh my god, Tyler Red just won three in a row. Oh my god, Allgaier 38th, that's just disgusting. Poor Michael Annette, honestly had a good chance to win, he's gonna get himself... Oh, second place, oh that hurts. And he was only about a second back. Wow, oh, and Ray Black got ninth, oh. I don't understand this game. Michael Annette almost just got the ultimate clutch moment ever. And he lost to Tyler Reddick. Oh my god, Kamikaze's gonna lose it. I can feel I can feel the echo of his rage. Alright, well, we're gonna get like shit. Well, actually, <laughs> even though it's not a good finish, we're still gonna get decent money because Vegas pays out well. So thank you, Vegas. I appreciate that. 92,000 there. That's I'll take that. And we're 11th, and that pretty much sets the, the chase. Um, everybody that's in has a win. Except, yeah, it really is. My god, Chase Briscoe with like a, almost a 100 point lead is like what? Like a 98 or 88 point lead? It was, it's a lot, it's a lot, that's the point. It's, it's a freaking big lead. Yeah, I know. I know, thank you game. 312,000 total and thankfully we have a week off so we can kind of just repair the stuff we have for our poor speedway. S smooth savings, yay. Well, that's good. Um, I don't know what, uh, Nick Robin makes the, yep, yeah. can I advance the next round? That's a bold question. I, I, maybe, <laughs> because we got a couple people that have wins that probably shouldn't be there, so I don't know. I, I guess we'll see. Don't let that last race get you down. You're here for a reason. Remember, people believe in you. Look who's in the playoffs. I know, Bowicki, it's not you. Ha! Insult. Uh, Morgan Shepard. Congrats to everybody who made the XFINI. My money's on Nico Robin to win. Wow. Morgan Shepard really has a... He's trying. Justin Algar again with a message. He's probably congratulating me on making the chase. Congratulations on making it to the playoffs. Good luck. I knew it. I knew it. I called it. I called it. So it is kind of weird they sent me two messages, like two separate things. That's weird. It's like he's trying to hit on me, and that's weird. Uh, well, thank you, Spencer Boyd. He's such a he's such a good person. Everybody has. Uh, they, oh, okay. I know. I had a bad race. I know. Uh oh, here we go. Briscoe's gonna congratulate me again. Congrats on making the playoffs, man. Good luck. Thanks. It's just so like so quick. I don't even know what to say. Are we done? Oh my god, we got another one! Congratulations, you made it to the playoffs. I think if you keep your head down, you'll win the whole thing. Go out and get it done. Wow. What is that? I just looked up and he's like looking away. Oh, what is with the editing on these? Like, my god. It's like as if they just took like the raw footage of like their, their recording of it. And didn't, it was just 100% un 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 unaltered. Like, you can get away with that. It's not like Twitter. Well, I guess it, I guess Twitter is different, but it's like I don't know. You can get away with it in a video game lane. But look, I <sighs> he has no eyebrows and a ginger, and he has no soul. So that's three problems. But he was so positive. But that takes that one away. So there's still I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to insult you. It's a little little on like the fifty like four like fifty one forty nine percent range. But we're gonna have to do that. I'm sorry. And I'm I like how he's very optimistic about me winning the championship even though I kind of barely made it in <laughs> John Jackson hello I know oh my god it doesn't end 
congratulations. You made the playoffs. I think you can win the whole thing. Go get it. Why is he so awkward? It's so awkward. God almighty. <laughs> Stop. Just, I have, uh, he's still a friend. I like, that's, see, that's when you're about, oh my god, another video, man. How many do I even have? Congrats on making it into the playoffs. Keep it up. All right, insult him. I like how I can insult him and still be my friend. Oh my god. Congrats on making the playoffs. Don't celebrate yet. Still got a long way to go. Man, that shaky hand. I'll tell you. <laughs> I don't want to make the same joke again, but we'll insult them. Are we done? I, oh, God. Algar, I know I made the playoffs. That's the second time you told me. I, my God. The, the, how many messages? Another, no, we're not going pool party, Joey Case. It's like, my, it's like all these race car drivers are like in like kindergarten. Like, what is this shit? No, Kazgrala. No, I'm not going on your boat. Oh, my God. God, how many video messages did I just actually get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. My God. Even even Count Dracula would fail with that. Oh. Oh, a cup offer. Well, that's that's pretty cool. Well, I appreciate that. Well, I do I didn't make the well usually when you make the playoffs you do I guess get an offer. I shouldn't be shocked, but that's still pretty cool. Thank you, game. Oh, well, let me go to Richmond. For that one, I am 100% gonna, you know, have their tire wear on more effect because I'm gonna need that to even get 25th. So, just to even have a chance, that's what I have to do. So, that's my plan. So, we got everybody ready. Obviously, I don't really need anybody for the Super Speedway because we'll be using that for the Robles. So, we have that all good to go. And when we go to another Speedway for Dover, that should be pretty much our best car riding up to this point ever so that's also good but we don't have another short track till ism so we can probably just put people on there every now and then and be good so. but yeah well we'll see we'll get to look at the chase stuff and kind of see where we stand i know it's not good i i mean i'd be i'll be lucky if i even get through the first round to be honest so uh yeah there it goes again it went up uh 31 000, so i Okay, it does count uh, factor in that incentive contract. So that's interesting. I guess that's for after the next race, I, I guess. Uh, I don't know. I'm sure. I, I guess the comment section can help me on that. Because uh, I'm, I'm assuming that once uh, like we finish up the next race, then I'll get like that bonus, which will be 31000 and maybe then some because I completed it a little bit early. I guess. That's um, that's my assumption. So here we are in the, the playoffs. So Chase Briscoe with a 44 point. Thing, so that's that's crazy. Um, Chris Rebell, I mean, the top four almost looks like it's set. <laughs> I mean, pretty much Bell and Briscoe are good. Reddick might be good. And, oh, the, the points here, oh, it gives me a headache because how am I... Uh, uh, I don't know how to describe it. I'm stupid. I don't know what's wrong. I don't know why I'm thinking this way. It makes sense. I try to make nonsense out of sense. I don't, I don't know what's wrong with me. So we're three points out of the cut line, which is very realistic. I think we could probably do it. Because John Hunter, Gray Galding, Jeffrey, they usually don't do well. They have like random races where they do good, so I guess that's something to worry about. So we got Richmond, the Roval, and then Dover. Richmond, we can maybe get a little bit better than what we did in the spring. And then we got the Roval, which we've done good at road courses. That could be a guaranteed top 10 there. And then Dover, we did pretty good there last time, but we... Ow, I just banged my freaking knee into my computer tower. Ow. But, Do yeah, Dover, we got 13, so we might not do as well. I don't know. But it should be a decent round. So, that's nice. That's what I'm saying. Like, we might be able to pull, uh, pull it off to make it to the next round. I don't think we're going to make it to the final four. So, I am not going to factor that in. But yeah, let's wrap this part up. I, that was that, that was kind of good, but then also kind of bad because Vegas sucked. <laughs> Big shout out to my tier three Patreon supporters: the Dale Reynolds, Weather Bros, Comic Cosmic Games, Ryan Lazarin, Dave Hunter, Champ Fifteen, Alan Gray, Robert Dale, NASCARMerchandise.org, Bailey Here, Sean Hamill, and more sports games for a donation again. I'd like to thank you guys. You know, once more, just for your always continued support. Just means a lot.
And it goes a long ways because with the, your guys' help, I don't know, bro. It, it, it adds up. It really does. I'll see you all next part for uh, Richmond and the Roval, which the Roval had that same weird glitch where the purse is the same amount as it would have been for the Cup Series. And that doesn't sound right because usually for corresponding races, the Xfinity purse is lower than the Cup. It's not usually the same. Maybe it is in real life. I don't know. I don't know, but it's just weird. That two years in a row, that that's like that still. Um, I guess that'll do it. So, uh, yeah. Um, I'll see you all next part, and I'll see you all later. And as always, have a good day, everyone.